turn to make breakfast is always something of an adventure. I thought I'd try something a bit special. Well, indeed. A lesser woman would not even have attempted earth a la mayonnaise. Yes, and it almost worked, didn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Apart, of course, for the absence of earth. I broke them all. And mayonnaise. Well, it curdled. But all in all, the most delicious plate of a la I've ever tasted. <laughs> Now then, since we have a few moments to spare, let's have another bash of my lines. Shall we? All right, but we'll have to hurry. Take it from the top of page 34. Yes. <laughs> Avast, ye lubbers! Tis Pan and his lost boys come to board me. Swish, swish. <laughs> you shall not murder Tinkerbell Hook. Think ye not? I'll keelhaul ye, Peter Pan. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> Awfully good. Very scary. Well, I feel scary. This will be my year, Patricia. At tonight's audition, I shall carry all before me. Well, you ought to. You're obviously the best. Oh, no, no, no. But I'm afraid you'll end up playing the crocodile that swallowed a clock, as usual. Yes, yeah, that's true. Every year I've gone to the Peter Pan auditions and buckled my swash till my timbers shivered. <laughs> and every year I've been presented with seven feet of green foam rubber and informed that my lines are tick and talk. <laughs> well, not this year, I can assure you. I have prepared fully. Swish, swish. <laughs> the part of Captain Hook is mine. Well, I hope so. It makes me furious to see you passed over for lesser men. Last year, I nearly turned in my tomahawk. Oh, now, you mustn't do that, Patricia. You make a wonderful Red Indian maid. Oh, I don't think so. That silly little costume. My thighs are too fat. Patricia, what an absurd thing to say. Oh, you're just saying that to be nice. No, I'm not. I'm sure any number of Indian maids have fat thighs. 